almost a year long search for red spotted nudes seems like uh, plenty of time to get everything ready. I read scientific papers about eastern nudes to get ideas of what my nudes may need. And uh, surely I prepared a paladarium for nudes long in advance. Supplying food for nudes is the most crucial part of the preparation. One really never knows what new pets will eat until they try the food. I populated the tank with breeding antlers fish, assuming nudes feed on fish as was mentioned in the papers I read. My red spotted nudes do not eat fish. And there are plenty of babies and adult fish for nudes to choose from. With three nudes in the tank, the fish population keeps increasing. I also populated fish tank with scots, also known as gamaros, and black worms. Well, it seems that the red spotted nudes like those. You can see a newt is hunting on a scot or a black worm. The first week or so, my newts have been roaming the bottom of the tank consistently. Here's another instance of a newt hunting on aquatic creatures. In the following weeks, I have not seen scots or black worms anymore in the tank. I pick uh, ladybugs among different insects and creatures in the park for my newts to try. Well, somehow this newt did not notice ladybugs on the first try. Though I noticed something on the bottom of the tank. The other two newts are fighting. It looks more like a wrestling match at this point. It is the first time I've observed a fighting among my newts. Let's trim off the long standoff part to save your time. I assume the fight distracted the first newt from ladybugs. So uh, let's give uh, ladybugs another try. Okay, this time the newt noticed uh, ladybugs right away. I can see the newt is moving closer to ladybugs. The newt kind of sniffs ladybugs, but avoids touching them. <laughs> ladybug lands on the newt and the newt makes funny moves, shaking the ladybug off. The newt grabs an air bubble. All red spotted newts do it once in a while. Ok, this newt turns away from ladybugs. Another newt came to check on the first deposit of ladybugs. A ladybug rides on the newt back. The newt seems to be terrified of the ladybug. Newts probably know better than to mess with anything colored uh, orange or red. After all, newts have uh, those red spots to ward off enemies too. Ok, newts don't eat ladybugs. Next, I let my newts try termites.
top feeding handlers show interest in uh, termites. The newts never show up uh, for testing termites. And honestly, I was worried about bringing termites in my apartment. Now, let's give millipeds a try. The newt noticed the milliped right away. It looks like the milliped managed to escape this time. Let's try it again. This time the milliped has no place to hide. The new takes a very close look at the milliped and lets it go. I feed my fish with homemade fish food flakes. Fish get very excited and swim energetically during feeding time. Newts often come to investigate the cause of fish activity. Newts surely can sense the dry fish food. Though I never saw my newts try any of the various homemade fish food I provide. Agriculture in isopods are part of preparation for feeding newts in the terrestrial stage of development. My fish also eat small-sized baby isopods. Let's drop adult isopod for newts to try it. Wow, the newt responds instantly, attacking the isopod. But the isopod managed to escape. Let's drop another isopod. Yeah, the newt is certainly going after isopods. Ha, <laughs> that's a funny development in the hunting game. The newt hit and missed the isopod. And now the isopod is escaping by walking on the back of the newt. Alright, the newt shakes off the isopod. And the isopod is sinking down. You can see the fish is following the isopod. The terrestrial isopods stay alive underwater for 5-10 minutes or so. Ok, let's drop another isopod. It is the third attempt. And the newt caught the isopod. This time for certain, red spotted newts eat isopods. Now let's give worms a try. Here I see a newt worried by the worm. Oh. The attack came faster than I expected. So, let's drop the worm. Oh yes, red spotted nudes do not hesitate when they see worms. Eastern or red spotted nudes do not have teeth. 
so it takes time for a new to swallow a long worm. And here is the isopod still running around. One of the newts will get the isopod eventually, or fish and snails will eat it later. So, my wild coat red spotted newts feed on a live food only. So far I've been feeding newts with scuds, worms and isopods. Feeding newts is very engaging and entertaining and time consuming. I'm going to share details in future videos about feeding newts and culturing the food for newts. Have fun and happy newts!